Hey, it's Thursday. Uh, let's see, September 9th, and we're gonna do talky things. We're gonna cover the rest of ladies and tigers and deathies and doors, and then we're gonna talk about a, the quizzy thing for tomorrow. And then, did you figure out your giant horse issue? I have proof um, that there's a giant horse. Yes. Yeah, maybe the tallest one That's in the fine. world. You That's fine. That's what I said. Tallest horse in the world. See? Yes, and you've seen it with your own eyes. Oh my God. Huh? Right. Grunoa. Grunoa is spelled wrong. Correct. That was. What is? Grunoa. 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 I was trying to find new ways to sneak it into Grunoa. it to see. Grunoa. I thought I'd throw you guys off by taking a day to not spell things wrong and sort of lull you guys into it. But we'll see. see. I'll, I'll keep trying to throw things at you on that one. Uh, let's see. To there's these. Uh, no one, a shirtsy thing is going to be due next Wednesday, so if you're still willing to order, if you can, I'll send out another remind to try and help you. And, all right. Green sheet. We're good to go with all of this. We feel strong. Good to go with all of this. And we're going to double check real quick. We're going to have you guys try and do the talky thing uh, with the mouthy bits and not the blinky bits. Uh, so we're going to go, that'll be the mouthy bits. Proud of you. So theme, what is the big red word for theme? Learn. Good job, three kids. For internal conflict, the big red word is? Decision. Well, we got to five kids. Uh, when we write it, how do you have to write the conflict? Action or other action. We got up to eight kids. Make sure you use or. What word can you not use? Not. Oh, we got better. For external conflict? Two physical versus battles. Two physical. Badly fighty thing is all it's going for. And then how do you write that one? Thing versus, versus thing. There you go. Make sure you use the verses. Right, we're good to go there. Then let's get to Lady and the Tiger. That probably don't need. There we go. So Lady and the Tiger, we got through the end of it with you guys, and so we voted with you guys. I think you guys chose. So the thing I realized yesterday with the whole of my classes that got a chance to vote, typically with the voting, and it didn't wasn't perfect for every kid, but the pattern was that boys typically voted for the girl door to be opened. Girls typically voted for the tiger door to be opened. So the assumption is boys want to live and want to have hot girl. Girls wanted to kill them off. And so it wasn't 100%, but it was frighteningly accurate as it went throughout the day. The more girls in the class, the better chance the boy was going to die. The more boys in the class, the better chance he had of living. Not the way I thought it was going to go. But uh, it was a fun little learning bit. Carter. So when your class comes in, you look around, and you're like, hmm, is it girl heavy or boy heavy? Yeah. And you're like, oh, no. After a while, I could sort of figure out whether the boy was going to. And the boy died almost every time just because there were some boys who would be like, yeah, death is fun. Uh, but it was almost like across the board, girls were killed off. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, all right. And, of course, as I'm looking in here, I don't see a whole lot of going no. You guys are like, yeah, the boy died. And so maybe it's a seventh grade thing, but I've got a feeling it just might be a gender thing. We're okay with that, too. All right. On your green sheet, let's run through to make sure you guys are giggly good on there, since you should have a lots of bits of you done. If not of the lots of bits of you done, we're going to do our best to help you out. Characters, who are the three characters? Princess, Princess Royal, Princess. Gardner, Sun King. There you go. Princess, Gardner, Sun King. And did we get through descriptions with you guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. Our just what description for Princess would work? Discover Store Secret. Secret. Alright. Again, you don't have to use mine. I put Discover Store Secrets. You guys could have done something else. That's fine for me too. For Gardner's son? Gardner. <laughs> Well, yeah, that would work. That would work. Yeah. I mean, it would work. That gar he does garden, and that would that the king and the princess definitely are going to spend their time gardening. So, yeah, I would count that. I went for trust the princess because obviously the king does not trust the princess because it's his daughter. And as I'm sure most people in here can tell, most fathers don't trust their daughters um, because that's never mind. And then for the king, what do we have there? Father of princess. I mean, going off my own as they said, but yes. I put uses. Did you put cruel? No, I didn't. Oh, you put cruel. I thought okay. I did. Okay. I was just check because he's he's trying to be just. He's using the two doors. No, it's cruel. It's it's completely but law based. He's but your father. You daughter. shouldn't. You sh But they didn't even get a fair trial. They, I mean, it's completely luck based whether you win or not. Whoa, luck he's luck. putting his faith into God or the turtle or the mighty thing that you pray to, whether it be oh, a shoe. I and mean, so he's putting his faith into that. If, if every person in America, all judges and whatever, did uh -huh. that, it'd 
it'd be a bad place. Wow! But Carter, not. It would I be wonder why. Getting all scary up in here all of a sudden, no faith. And yeah, pretty much it does come down to the luck thing. So. But we didn't know that. Or wait. No, we, yeah, but we made her kill the boy, so she's cool. But that no, but that's not part of the story. That's true. That's he, just, for all we know, the king could have had him marry a hot chick. Wait, are you saying hot chicks are mean? <laughs> uh huh. There we so we don't know for sure that he died. For all we know, he married a hot girl, and it might not be cruel at all. It might be the king is incredibly awesome, depending on how you do things. Holler. All you had to do to get us to talk is talk about killing the hot chicks. Which is exciting because that actually pops up in a lot of stories we're going to do this year, uh, or a lot of the hot chicks, not as much, but definitely the killing and stuff like. There are girls, and I guess you can be your own judgment of their hotness. But there are stories with girls, and there's going to be stories with death. Um, and there's stories with girls and death. So apparently talking may be a thing that happens this year. Who would have thought that was your guys' sweet spot? It's only mildly disturbing. For setting. For the win. A win. long time ago. Works for me. And, and then also what season? Spring. Because it said it took place in spring. Because it's like the third paragraph. I was like, one spring day. They love each other. And you're like, oh, man. For the where, where does it take place? Castle. castle Prince 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 and then Prince where, in this, where in the castle did you say? Princess Prince 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 Works for me, her, her room. Oh, I also put garden because technically it's like they look the viewing of each other from there. And then there's also a final location at the end. Yeah. Slaughter arena. Arena. arena thing. Yeah. You meant marriage arena. <laughs> Hot girl arena. No, that sounds weird. <laughs> Went the wrong way on that one. We'll just go with the arena. We'll, we'll just leave out all the adjectives. Uh, uh, people at home, you can just rewind and erase that last part. I think that's the thing you can do digitally. All right, so then we're good to go there. Let's go to plot. All right, on here, what we do together, the very first thing that happens in the story? And, and how does the princess feel? A lot of thunder. She loves him back. There you go. There is the loving of each other. It's not a one-way love. It's a two-way love. Boy and girl meet and fall in love. Something about the lovey bits. Spill it off. But they didn't meet because they never actually talked to each other? They did meet. They just didn't talk. I can meet a person without talking to them. And mm -hmm. if you remember, they were inches away. It says the fact that she leans out the window and he looks up and they're inches away. I've got a feeling if I go over to Asher and I get inches away, there's a chance. And, right. Already, he's like, I've already met you. Exactly. So when you get that close to someone, there's meeting. I mean, it's awkward meeting, but it still qualifies as meeting. Now, they didn't shake hands. Yes, that I'll give you. Jumping all the way. I didn't Isn't mean to scare great? you, Asher. It's okay. We'll never meet each other. <laughs> Jumping all the way to the end, the last thing that happens is. Gardner picks, picks the right the door. door. Correct. Well, Not the correct door, but the right hand door. Or what we assume is the right hand door. For all we know, she motioned with her right hand and pointed to the left. And yeah. then he opened the right door and she was like, what? No! Oh, never mind. <laughs> and she was like, whoopsie! Well, next one. All right. And then I'll give you middle one. Where the two doors are explained. That was like the five paragraphs in the middle there explaining why we're going to use the two-door system that Carter doesn't like. <laughs> I don't like it. I know, I just said that. <laughs> I, I know you said it. <laughs> That's how conversations work. What? So if one, boy and girl meet and fall in love, three, we are explaining the doors, why do we need a justice system if all they did was meet and fall in love? Because that's illegal. So what's number two going to be? The king saw the princess say I love you. There you go. King catches the love. That also what? sounds mildly creepy. Three, the doors are explained. Five, the girl knows which door to point to. What does four have to be? The girl finds out. Finds out what? Which door. There you go. Uh, Is that a duck sound? Carter? I just, it doesn't make sense. The king doesn't have any solid evidence or proof that the boy said love in return. Yes, right. So. That's why he's on that's trial. That's why he's If he had but proof, he would just stab him. But then he also has a 50% chance of dying for no reason. Like, no, that means he was guilty. Well, You're okay. saying you have no faith in the system. I the king have has faith in the system. He's not a I disbeliever. Have to be someone with a brain to Wow. Look at you brain shaming a king. I'm and then he loses a worker. 
I mean, or gains a new dude marrying a hot chick. Okay. Yes. So one of the things benefits girl this points towards the girl with the lady in it, and then she claims that she's a witch. So then you know. The witch gets burned. He's single. Again. I don't know. You don't get to just throw a random thing like that and then just throw arms at me like it's a thing that we just accept. You don't get to create your own reality like. And then she, what if she's a dragon? <laughs> like no, that's not the way things well, work. Like, it's gonna be a long year if we can just randomly throw out things and just throw arms. I mean, if you get to do it, I get to do it. We're like grammar. This is a noun. Mr. Proviac, that's a boy. Whatever! That's Throw my arms! We're good! Learning. This is what happens when I record you guys, huh? Point of view! Looking at papery thing in front of you. Is it first or third or third. second? Third or You sure it's not second? Yes. How do you know it's not second? Because it doesn't say you. you. I'm not in it? Oh. Good job. Ooh, between limited and omniscient, which character does it start off following? Boy. Now, if you're saying it is omniscient, that means you can find a scene the boy is not in. If there is a scene, if he's in every scene, or talking to people, or is present in some way, it is limited to him. Ooh. Spill it on. Um, when the princess did not sleep all night and she knew what she had to do, and like she was had ideas and oh. stuff. <laughs> all right, I would accept that. Yes, he was definitely not there because he was. Languishing in prison place. Sorry, right, I'll give you that one. Domination. So the two characters that follows are going to be the princess, princess boy. Works for me. I put doesn't use I me, but I think on there I put you have to tell me like what characters it follows as long as you have princess and boy. For the theme, you're gonna have to be able to tell me a theme and explain why that theme works. So if you tell me the theme is you shouldn't tickle somebody. I'll be like, ooh, okay, how's that work in the story? And then you go, no, it doesn't work. You have to completely miss me making fun of him. It's so embarrassing. And then you have to be able to explain how your theme connects in some way. Did anyone find a theme you feel strong with? Or are we going to go back to you guys blinking at me? <laughs> blinking at me. Holler! What? <laughs> okay. Explain to me how that theme works that we should never fall in love. Because it gets you killed. Did you just use the phrase bad, bad daddy? Okay. I mean, I'll accept that one. It's only mildly disturbing, but it's fitting the theme of the class. So we'll roll with that one. Sam? Choose the left or we don't get killed by a tiger. What? Good. But I'm afraid I have to quote Asher on you. <laughs> I'm not sure that was a good connection to reality. Carter. All kingdoms and governments need a fair system of judgment. Explain how that connects. And punishment. Um, it connects because it does. I don't know. But that's just how. <laughs> My quote of the day. <laughs> that's just how it should work. Uh, well, apparently, Holler, you were the only one that came up with one that could actually support their thinking, even though you had to use the phrase... Bad, bad daddy, but apparently no one else could come up with a better one and support it. I mean, yours might have worked, but your support was a little on the non-existent side. I also went love, although oddly enough, I did not use the phrase bad, bad daddy. Uh, you may just have to find a way to work that in on your own. I just went the fact that they all act out of love in some way. The princess loves the boy, which is why she does the sneaky thing. The boy loves the princess, which is why he trusts her. The bad, bad daddy loves his daughter, which is why he tries to prevent her from going and marrying a scrub. What? That calls him bad, bad daddy. Who would have thought I would come away with two quotes already in this class? Who does? Not me. These poor kids at home. What is going on? I don't know either. And I'm watching it happen. <coughs> All right. Internal conflict. What is our definition of internal conflict? Decision. <laughs> you sound so broken, Grenor. But yes, you're correct. Decision in the story. So Princess has big decision in story. What decision does she have to make? To make, to make him die or make him marry. Yeah, I got that one. To make him die or make him marry. I'm scared. Holler. 
That's less disturbing than I thought it was going to be. I will accept that one. Yeah, I went for kind of the same thing. Kill boy or look at that. Get the hot chick. Go you. You only have to do one, but I'm going to give you more than one for those of you who want options. Because I figure Gardner's son also has a decision to make in story. I mean, King also does too. I mean, according to Carter, he can choose or he's going to follow this system or just kill the boy. But apparently he went for the whole, you know, choosing the two-door system and having faith in the The king the could put buff. a little bit of gold around one door and then have the tiger in there so the boy would be or have um, tigers behind persuaded both to doors. go to the tiger door. Yeah, or have tigers behind both doors. It's unfair. No, no, and that would be unfair. <laughs> what he did was fair. Putting no, a tiger behind it's, both doors. It's completely love based if you live or die. Yes, but having yeah. a tiger behind both doors, Be there's me. no luck at all. You're just killing a person. But neither is fair. <sighs> Back to here. Gardener's son. It's unlucky that the king put both tigers behind. What decision does the gardener's son have to make in the story? To trust the princess or to trust himself. Ooh, I thought you were going to say not. I got excited for a second. And I would agree. Uh, I put trust princess or make a decision, but that would work for me. External conflict. What's the definition of external conflict? Physical thing versus thing. thing. What things are fighting in the story? King in the garden. Good, except we don't sound very confident, nor do we say it correctly. King versus the gardener. <laughs> you did say it correctly, and you sounded confident. My other question is why is that important to the story? Because that could have killed the gardener. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see that. I did the same thing. I did king versus the boy and the girl. But you could definitely do the king versus the boy. I figured the king also goes against his daughter because apparently she's upset that he's going to either kill off her boyfriend or make him marry some other hot chick. Most girls tend to get upset when their fathers do that. <laughs> I'm not judging all of you. For some of you, you might be like, oh, Friday night. Good. But for others, your dad's like, I'm going to kill your boyfriend or make him marry another girl. And you're like, oh, dad, again. <laughs> so, I'm not trying to judge. Uh, I also went for uh, the boy versus the two doors because he doesn't know what's going to come out. Or unless, you're, unless you're in Carter's world where it's two tigers <laughs> high-fiving each other as they come running at you. But in the rest of it, you don't know what's going to be behind them. Then I had a kid try to convince me to do princess versus the big decision. But I don't really think that's an external conflict. Where would that fit better? Internal mm -hmm. conflict. Yeah, I thought that was more internal, but the kid threw a fit. So it's like, all right, I'll put it up there so I can make fun of you. <clears throat> and that works for me. What kid was it? I'm not giving Bobby. <laughs> Who's Bobby? Johnson. Bobby Bopperson. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bopperson's kid. Uh, so we're good now with all greeny bits. Stuff is in your head. Why did theory. you have that it was important? For which one? The external conflict? I didn't give you that one. I wanted you guys to do that on your own. Actually, I had Gernor give it to you a second ago, but some of you guys just ignored poor Gernor, which is why he's crying now. It's okay, Gernor. He's strong. Okay. See? You've heard his emotions. He has two of them. What? What? Okay, three. Fine. I'm rounding up. We're good. Okay. Now, you can keep green sheet. It's going to help you on the next part. Here's where you're going to need an i thing, and we're going to do a practice quiz. Home children, if you're watching this, um, as long as it is after 4 o'clock, you should also be able to do practice quiz uh, because I will have it set up for you. If you're doing it like right now during the day, it might be more of a challenge, but you might get lucky. Depending on you can jump in and stuff from there. Uh, but otherwise, we'll help you out if you see it. Or home children, you're welcome to just go through and watch this. If you have the Socrative app, open the Socrative app. If you have the Socrative website, open the Socrative website. Either one's fine. And then you're going to need to log in as a student because you're not a teacher. I'm sorry if I have to explain that to you. We had some struggles in the first period. You're going to get to a screen that says room name. I have not given you room name. I'm just going to get you to this part. Sam. Student. Student? Student shield. Is it are you doing the app? Yeah. Yeah, you're out of luck. If you don't have the app already downloaded, you're out of luck. You get to download that already. So if it's not already downloaded, you're using the website because I'm moving on. 
that's why I sent the remind last night saying download the Socrative last night. Then your next thing is you can download it tonight if you want, but this screen is now going to disappear. Ready? It, it takes like four seconds at most to download. Are so you taking a picture of it? Yeah. It's on remind. Oh, I didn't know that. I just said it four times. It's okay. No job. Hang on. Let me quote a genius at you. <laughs> okay. So now, room name. Wait, no. Before you do it, when you log in, this will cost you B points. You have to do last name, then first name when you log in to your name part. If you don't do last name, then first name, it puts you out of alphabetical order and makes me do work. If I have to do work, I get to charge you points. So last name, then first name. Okay, ready? Room name is Kyvor. So go find Kyvor. That's the first thing you type in where it says room name. Then it says, what's your name? And when it gets to the what's your name part, that's where you go last name and then first name. And you don't have, like if your full first name is like Samantha and you go by Sammy, that's fine. Just do last name and then Sammy. If you have a nickname, then that's fine. Last name and then nickname. And technically, I think you can even put emojis after your name, and I could care less. As long as it goes last name, first name, and then emojis, and then Kira, I was ignoring you because you're confused. What's up? Do you put a space between the last name and first It doesn't matter. As long as I can read it and figure it out, it's fine with me. Holler. It doesn't matter to me, as long as it just goes in that order. You can smash them together, you can separate them, you can put a comma. Uh, either one works. How have I confused you, Carter? Never mind. That was a good conversation. I feel closer to you already. All right. So you should get to first question, which is frighteningly easy. That's on purpose. Stay on first question. Don't answer first question yet, even though it's tempting because first question is so easy. And you usually be like, ah, ah, yeah. just wait a moment. Is everyone in? Not a sure, it's a finding out if you're in or not. Stand up to him. Yeah. I mean, no, that sounds like a good idea. All right, let's go with. Aha, there we go. So we're all looking at this screen, well, not this screen, like on your iPad, this screen. We feel strong. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here is how it is going to work tomorrow. You get a chance to have another kid in class tell you the answer on each question as we go through. But you can only help one time. So if you have super smart kid, you only get to use super smart kid once. So keep that in mind. So on this first one, what it would work is I would go, all right, our first question is, which of the following was not a character we described in the opening practice story we did about a race? Dog, owl, rabbit, tortoise, uh, no explanation. Oh, not choose that one. I have no idea why that's up there. And then if you know it, you're welcome to choose it. If you don't know it, I would go, does anyone know this one and want to help the rest of the class? If you do, you go, me. And I call on you. This is the one time you get to help. You have to explain why you choose that one. You can't just go, uh, the owl, because then I have to be mean to you. Because you're convincing, you're convincing the other kids in class that you're a genius smart child. So that's where you'll be able to explain it to them. Now, my guess is, in this class, you may spend every question just staring at each other, but it's going to require brave people to help out the others. If not, I'll go, who wants to help? And you guys will go, pink, pink, pink. Pink. And I'll go, well, I guess you're all out of luck. And then I get to make the questions progressively tougher. You can also counter argue the questions. So for whatever reason, Carter raises raise his hand and go, it's the tortoise. We never even talked about a tortoise. That's ridiculous. Obviously, that's the wrong answer. And then all of a sudden, Mia's like, ah. And then you can raise your hand and then choose to fight if you want. And we'll take up to three kids to be able to discuss their answers on each question. Questions before we go to anyone helping out? Carter, 
I think we should all study the dictionary tonight so we are less uh, or so we learn more English and less blank Morse code. Yes, that sounds like it. Or just study Morse code. That might be the best thing to do first. Because knowing the dictionary but not knowing Morse code may slow down your plan. Dylan? If you want to challenge somebody else's answer, but and you challenge it, can you not talk again? You get up to two challenges. You can talk a total of three times, once to answer, and then two challenges. All right. Do I have anyone who wants to help answer this one in case we have kids who are confused? Sam? Sam? Okay, the answer is the rabbit because it was about the tortoise and the hare, not the tortoise and the rabbit. There you go. So that would be his marked, and I would mark down. So now I hang on one second. That is a Sam. So did he so use I marked, the cars? So on that one, so I've marked down. So Sam, that you've answered number one. Does anyone want to counter argue that one, or we feel good with it? No, no, no. no. Carter? Yes. You're counter arguing? Um, rabbits can also be known by hare. Um, so I believe that, that is incorrect because the dog is not in the story. Uh, I have to think of a reasoning. That, that would be the reasoning right there. Okay, fine. Okay. Good. Do I have anyone else countering? Then lock in your answer. And then if you don't answer by the time the time's up when I go to the next question, you just take a zero on that question. So here's the part where you should hit the enter and then yes, and it should go to spinny screen. And I have two kids taking a zero. One kid taking a zero. There we go, Rollo. Yes. Let's say Carter thinks it's one answer, but I don't agree with that. Do we else? all have to? No, you pick your own. And we're going to get to some of these ones coming up where you're going to have kids give three different answers, and all three of them have really well thought out strong answers. Because I get to now give you challenging questions because you get to cheat off other kids, so I get to increase it. And there's every chance all three of those kids are complete morons and wrong. And so you're going to go with a completely different answer and go, oh my God, what is wrong with those kids? Obviously, it's this one. So that's where you get a chance to use your thinking. Someone's a moron, they shouldn't answer those so, questions. But, they sh but the problem is, morons don't know they're morons. Morons, a lot of times, are very loud and run for public office. All right, so then it helps you out. All right. So everyone got that one correct. Got that one correct. So now we go to number two. Yeah. Now we go to number two. There we go. Apparently we're just a little sluggish today. Which character description is not written correctly? Owl yells for the race to start. Tortoise runs without stopping. Rabbit, dumb animal with feet. Or all of these are written correctly and accurately. Now Sam can't answer because he's already done one. Do I have anyone else that wants to help with this? And if no one does, then no one can counter argue. In that case, I just go... All right, 10 seconds. Oh, wait. Taylor, your eyes got so big. Something came out of your head. Okay, it cannot be um, the dumb animal feet because that's something that's just for the rabbit. Okay. Uh, all of the animals have feet, so that can't be something that's just for the rabbit. Really so you're saying the answer is C because that's not written correctly. No. So Taylor says C, that one's not written correctly. <laughs> Kira? One, it doesn't help when your voice goes up at the end because that sounds like you're questioning me and you're trying to convince other kids you're right. So I'm not attacking. I'm just letting you know you're not going to bring them to your side if you sound like you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but you're, so you're saying the correct answer is, is B? Okay. And do I have anyone else countering? Then? Sam. Sam, you want to counter? I can I oh, count both of them in one counter? Yeah. Okay, well, counter <laughs> you first because... As even though all the animals have feet, not all of them are dumb. So being the dumb animal with feet is more specific to apply just to the rabbit. Uh huh. And then the to tortoise, I can see that being answered. Wait, so what? So what's your final answer? Uh, uh, all of these are written. So he's going with D, saying all of them. You now have 10 seconds to lock in your answer. And who would have thought an easy question would hurt your brain? But I see three of you breaking into tears right now. <laughs> like, I, I just, ah! If you think this is tough, these are the easy questions. I get to the fun ones tomorrow. All right, so I have six of you taking a zero on this. Oh, now we're down to three of you. 
Two of you, one of you, oh, never mind, and the correct answer was rabbit. The dummy, they all have feet. But, oh, that's your opinion on that one. So all of these, but, so it can't be, so number one with Al, I agree, tortoise runs without stopping. In the story it says he just runs nonstop and never gives up. So you'd be able to go on that one. And then all of these are written correctly and accurately. Well, then that would mean C is written correctly and accurately. And you just said that one was not as correct, but that's the way it comes down. Given this is probably not the best one because you don't have like the story in front of you. It's just an example one, but that's all right. Let's try to make it a little bit tougher. Three. Never mind. This isn't the top one. We'll get to number four is the top one. Which of the seven elements has five parts? And we always figure out the beginning, then the end, then the middle. And the only ones who cannot answer are Sam and Taylor, because they've already done it. And if no one else does, then we give you 10 seconds to lock in your answer. And no one is helping. 10 seconds, lock them in. We can do, I won't show you the answers, but I'll show you the names. seem so excited. Three kids, unless someone tells me to stop, I'm going to give you the zero. Two kids, and, oh, there we go. And the correct answer was? Plot. plot. Hopefully you just wrote plot. Hang on one second. So here, that one would be wrong. That one would be wrong. That one would be wrong. The rest would be good to go. It does not care about capital or lowercase, but the part of there where it says one word answer and spelling counts, that's the part that would come back to haunt you. All right. Yeah, we're a little sluggish in here. There we go. Which correctly written internal conflict works best in the story? A. Hair, should he lay down and nap or not sleep at all? B, rabbit, start the race early or wait for the owl to say go. C, turtle, whether he should just keep running the whole time. D, tortoise, race the sassy rabbit or just ignore him. One of those is a correctly written internal conflict. The others are incorrect. Does anyone want to help out the class with this one? Apparently you guys did not study your Morse code. Because I do not see aggressive, helpful blinking at all. We're not I... ready for today. <laughs> We're going to be ready for tomorrow. All right. No one's helping? Then 10 seconds. Lock it in. It might be a really fast quiz with you guys tomorrow. I went from 3 to 12. <laughs> it's because a lot of kids have their answer sitting there. And they just have to all of a sudden they all hit at the same time. And then one kid left, and, and then what I happen tomorrow is I'm going to have you guys start looking around and say, look at everyone around you who does not have spinny circle, and we can figure out who the last kid is so we can get them to turn it. All right. And on here, ooh, so let's buy a show of hands. Let's see which one you guys think it is. If you say it's A, raise hand. B, raise hand. C, raise hand. D, raise hand. Let's find out. And... Should have been D. So then those of you guys who chose D, why is it not A? Because it uses not. Oh, see? Me being sneaky. Why is it not C? It doesn't have or. And it doesn't have or. Nicely. Told you I was going to try and be tricky on those. So you can't use not, and you had to use or. Go you. All right. Let's go to one number five. Give me 12 minutes. What? It takes forever. I hit the button. And it's doing its thinking. There we go. What was the theme that was supposed to go with the story, even though it isn't the best one? A, don't be cocky, you'll just get in trouble. B, slow and steady wins the race. C, avoid toxic friends, they aren't worth it. D, don't fall asleep in the middle of important races. Does anyone want to help on this one? did so much work yesterday getting you guys to talk and all of a sudden now you have the chance to talk and cheat. Your teacher is giving you a chance to cheat 
and all you're doing is blinking at each other. All right, then lock it in. <laughs> 10 seconds. I can't wait to see how tomorrow goes. And then two of you left. Getting ready to have you look for there. You go one kid left. There you go. All right, let's find out. Who says A? B? C? D? All right, good job on that. Did we all? Oh, I got one kid. All right, until later. Last question. Last question. Hey, there we go. Which of the seven elements involves a fight and always uses verses in it? Spelling counts. Can be one or two word answer depending on the elements you choose. Does anyone want to help with this one? Spill it off. It's external conflict because it uses verses and it involves a fight or battle. All right. Does anyone want to counter? All right. Let's find out. And once you have that. Tomorrow, we're going to do this with an actual quiz that's 13 questions, and my goal is to actually try and make you think, and we're going to see what happens. And let's see. So by the way, like tortoise versus hare would be wrong. This one would be wrong because you put things into parentheses. And then conflict would be wrong. I know. I'm try. The rest of you are good to go. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. I hope you'll. Nice.